Hey everyone, it is autumn 2021 and we're in the season of fire cider. And for me, many of you are in the group and you know that I do fire cider. I began restarting fire cider in July so that it's ready for end of August, 1st of September when all the sniffles come about. But there are a lot of wonderful recipes and even a really neat book and videos out there on fire cider. So I'm not going to repeat that at this point. I'll do that at some point for my website. But what I wanted to share with the group members here on Facebook is that there is something else you can do with it. I'm one of these. I was raised by my mama and she was a daughter of a mother in depression, in the depression era. And you never ever gave up or threw away anything from pantyhose to egg cartons to margarine tubs. And so I've always got that in my mind is what can I use and what can I do with this and what can I use for this? And I came across, and I, I really would prefer to give that person credit, but I don't remember where I read it. Uh, but I came across a video where some, or a, a recipe where somebody had taken the mark and done something pretty cool with it. And being a cook and being Cajun Creole, this is just something I really uh, my heart kind of sung when I saw it. So what you're seeing right here is my press. Okay, this is a hydraulic press that I have. It's a one gallon, I think, maybe a half gallon. And I pressed my fire cider up yesterday and I got a little cake, um, a little moist, but not juicy, but a cake of mark at the end. So that's all your plant material. And I took that uh, and here, here's what this, so a half gallon got me um, almost two, uh, two full quarts, and I'll put some honey in this at some point. But what you're left over with is that, that cake, and I put it on my dehydrator tray. So you see this right here, and you can hear it. Hear that? It's nice and crunchy. And you can see pieces of jalapeno pepper, uh, onion. You can see some of the ginger. And so what I'm going to do, and I've already done it before, is you can take your food processor, or you can take a blender, uh, if it's a good strong blender or you can take one of those grinders the really cool grinders and you put all of that in there and you spin it around until you make this right here which is the powder this is from the last five cider this was compact i mean packed full where when i opened it up you could see the indention and i use this for fish and chicken i've used it in soups all the time all the time so there's no salt or anything like that in this this is just purely all the ingredients from the fire cider and it, it doesn't add too much heat, but you get this depth. And this particular batch had a lot more citrus in it. So it really has a little bit more of a um, astringent kind of taste to it. Where this one was the basic master tonic. So it'll just be, to me, a little bit more heat. So it is something that you can do very easily. And I've been giving them away as gifts. And people really appreciate it. It has a good, strong smell to it. I wish you could smell it. But it's just a very nice way. It keeps beautifully. And it's just a very nice way to add a little bit more taste to your meals. And it's a way of using that mark. So it's kind of like a, I call it my fire cider seasoning. My, um, my husband calls it moxie seasoning. But, um, but it's just something for you to think about. I hope that's helpful. I'm going to try to do more videos like this as I get better and better at it. But I at least wanted to share this with you. Again, also, if you're wanting to know more about how I created this press and built this. I can't take credit. My husband did most of it, but how I organized it, and I'd be glad to do that. Let me know in comments if you want to know that. So fire cider seasoning, dehydrate your mark, blend it, grind it, and give it away. Take care. Bye.